So since we are in the discussion of past master action figures, we're already over this guy. So let's take a quick look and review these action figures. So this is the Marvel Legends Taskmaster from the Thanos build of figure wave. Okay, so let's take a look at the accessories that comes with this action figure. So let's start with the shield. And I already did modification on the shield because I noticed that the clip system is already starting to wear out. So I just glued two G.I. Joe O-ring to these sides and they would somehow resemble this kind of fitment. So it really fits nice and snug and it sits as close to the forearm as possible so let's take a look at the sword and finally the pistol And without the accessories on, let us do a quick 360 view of the base action figure. So let's take a look at the articulation points of this action figure. So without any of the accessories on. So let's start with the head unit. And at the same time, you're going to look at the details of this action figure. So this is how the head unit looks. So up close and personal to the taskmaster. So we're going to have a gap between the head cover and the cape. But that is just okay. So even if we have quite that distance or break, that allows for easy movement of the head unit. So the head unit is on a ball and a hinge. So it is a nicely articulating head. So in terms of how the hood would sit on the head unit, that is just okay. No need to um, reconfigure how the hood sits on this um, head unit. So. If you consider the cape as an extra accessory or a separate accessory I mean it is not glued onto the back of the figure so we have a hole on the back of the figure and the cape is a separate piece so you could actually take it off from the action figure and this is how the cape looks. So in terms of how it is painted, really clean. So details on the gold trimmings on the cape. So this is the back of the cape. And let's take a look at the action figure. So that is the articulation points on the head. So ball and a hinge and this figure has been sitting for quite some time in my collection so as you could see it's gathering some bit of dust okay so let's move on with the articulation point so we have a cut on the diaphragm for bends so that is forward bends that is backward bends sideways motion for the hips full articulation for the arms a cut on the bicep for rotation of the bicep two pins for the elbows and we have rotation and a hinge for the hands so for the legs forward motion sideward motion a little bit of backward motion a cut on the thigh for rotation of the thigh two points of articulation for the knee a rocker and a hinge for the foot and this is the details once again on the body of the action figure the belt 
So I really love this kind of belts wherein there's going to be really huge pockets. So instead of the tiny ones that um, Marvel and uh, Hasbro would give to other action figures, I love this one better because you know that the character could possibly um, store accessories, weapons, or survival equipment on those packets. So two different sizes, actually three different sizes of pouches or packets. And this is the detail on the holster. And the buckles are cleanly painted. And this is supposed to house something, maybe the scabbard for the sword, but it does not have a scabbard for the sword. So that is it. Okay, so let's put on the accessories on this action figure. So if you are, for example, annoyed that this cape just would dangle around on the action figure because the peg is just way too short actually there's just a simple solution to it add just a little bit of stick glue just to this portion not to the peg but on this portion and actually it's going to engage on this part of the action figure and it stays well and this thing does not flap around like crazy and for the purpose of this review as evidence, so I already took the uh, residue of the stick glue out of this portion. So it has been staying for quite some time. And as you could see, it did not peel off the paint. So the paint is just like it came out of the factory. And it, it didn't even stain the back of the action figure. So this figure you could pose it with or without the cape but actually because of the colored front bib that is going to look quite odd if it does not have the cape on so for purposes of this review we'll just have the cape on this action figure taskmaster with pistol and shield combination Taskmaster with shield and sword combination. So this ends my short review, a little bit of Back to the Future review of this Taskmaster action figure which was released several years ago. So still a fine looking action figure, nicely thought of accessories. Um, the cape is easily removable, no need to really um, struggle with taking off the cape because it is not glued to the back. We have enough clearance for the head even if that is a hooded head with a really humongous cape, the head it still articulates well. So with regards to the paint job, nicely done with regards to the paint job accessories. 10 out of 10, this figure for me personally is a 10 out of 10. It is perfect. So accessory holding hands left and right that could possibly hold on to any of the accessories that you wish to have this figure hold on to. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the action figure or custom action figure review.